Welcome to a special edition of Dungeon uh, NFL Free Agency, Jaguars Free Agency specifically. Uh, last year we were kind of uh, we're kind of like, kind of quiet on the uh, northeastern Florida front, but this year, goodness gracious! I remember this. This is this was Trent Baalke. Uh, yes, that we was, actually that happened not too long ago. The someone, clown game. Someone sent this to us and asked us for the clown game to put it in his seat. He's an out, out of towner. Uh, unfortunately, it shipped too late, um, so we were not able to take this to the game. So it's been in our house and been featured in every episode since we got it. Just sitting in the corner, just a reminder of Trent Baalke. Um, an unfortunate reminder of Trent Baalke. <laughs> but that ends today. Oh, for who? You're not, you're not on the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, you, you, doing what, what you doing with that, boy? This is a knife Michael Myers has used to terrorize Haddonfield for the past 25 years. And I... I'm going to use it to destroy the clown because the clown movement is dead. I am a Trent Balky stan. Oh. And Trent Balky's putting on a masterclass free agency uh, signing day. Okay. It is absolutely insane. Like, last year. You got that <laughs> shit. That's cuisine <laughs> art, boy. That shit is that, that shit sharp, boy. Chill. Uh, last year, I feel like we were, we were non-existent in free agency. That, it, like, we took a year <laughs> I off. Feel you. I, and, I feel you. I feel you. All Pop right, it. so here goes. Here goes. Oh, yes. <laughs> right in the heart. I thought I was going to make a noise. No. I just said, Shh. You thought it was going to go? Mm-hmm. I did. Man, he's off the bulky train. I am not. Oh, I'm off oh, the I, He's train. on the bulky train. I'm off of it. Still. Because we still need, listen, guys. What we, we need. We were here last year, same position, smiling, grinning ear oh, to ear. Well, yeah. That grinning was... ear to ear. And look what happened. I was ruined last season. And I'm the happiest guy every season. This guy's not. So for him to be off the bar or back on the bulky train is, is shocking to me. Because I'm going to wait it out. Because last year, y'all know, I went to all these games. I seen it firsthand. I was ruined. I was ruined to my core. And just because we're having a good first day of free agency don't mean nothing to me. The best we, first day of free we agency. We still got a new head coach. We got a new everything. So, so we're so we're not sitting we're not back on season tickets, right? Yet. Well, we, we only have till Friday to renew. That's the date Ooh, the deadline date. They they timed that perfectly, didn't they? They did. They said, oh, we got they scheme us something up there in Duval, man. We in Duval, but they scheme us something up in that front office, man. They're like their timing is impeccable. I saw some people saying, "Oh, I'm back on the season ticket." This is the week too. This is the week where you have to make your decision of whether you're going to renew or not. Are you going to lose your seat? Uh, March 18th, I believe. But I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Well, let's talk about the free agency class. See if I can talk you into it. Um, well, which is funny because I'm not in it. I'm not on, on the. On the uh, you you just back on Balky Train, but you're not yeah, back on the train. Ticket balky train. Hive. Um, if it involves putting your money into it, you ain't bad. It. What's really funny is so Doug Peterson says, "quote This won't happen. This isn't an overnight fix." Also, Doug Peterson, let's sign every free agency and improve the team immediately so we can win as soon as possible. Uh, let's get a summary of the signings. They were busy today. We're spending a lot of money, but we have it to spend. So this is good so far. It's not like we're wasting our money on players that are like, eh, we don't know about them. We're getting some solid guys. So we, well, we, we got four starters. Yeah. Summary of the signings. We'll, go, we'll start with the first one. Biggest splash, Brandon Shreff. Sheriff. Shreff. No, it's Scurf. It's Sheriff. Skirt? Um Scherf. He was the first signing of the Jaguars made. And I was I looked, I was like, oh, okay. So we're gonna make a big splash this time. I thought it was gonna be the only big splash. So he uh was a fifth overall draft pick in 2015. Missed that. Bro, Brandon Sheriff, fifth overall pick in 2015, five time pro bowler, uh, which is like that's that's good. I don't think we've had an offensive lineman make the Pro Bowl in as long as I could. Brandon Linder make it? I You're asking remember. the wrong guy. This is not an accuracy podcast. Um, he was a first-team All-Pro in 2020, and then he played on the franchise tag in tw- this past season because they couldn't come out. Like, we had our franchise tag conversation uh, last week. They could not come to a long-term deal, so they did not tag him this year, and he has hit free agency. Jaguars scoop him up. Um, and, and we know Doug Peterson said he wanted to beef up that O-line. He got his guy Trevor. So we got this Pro Bowl guard now. 
We we uh, franchise Tad Cam Robinson. So I think we should still go offensive line in the draft. I know they're talking about edge rusher, but edge rusher is so deep. How deep is the offensive line class? I still think we got to beef up that offensive line because a lot of people are saying that this Brandon guy is injury prone a lot. And if that's the case, then we're going to need that backup. We're going to need that one guy from the draft to to be his backup. If not, you know, start. I'm still on the offensive line for first overall pick train, and I'm sure a lot of people are as well. That would be just – that offensive line, if it was – if that's where we go first overall pick, like I assume Neil or whoever it was would play right tackle if we kept Cam. Then we have Cam Robinson, Brandon Sheriff, um, Linder, um, God, what's his name? Batch. Batch? Barch. 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 Did someone help Thank me? you, Dan. Dan Heaton said uh, Barch. Barch. He'll play right guard, possibly. And then, no, whoa, 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 whoa. No. If we drafted Neil, fucking Walker Little would play guard. Yes. God, Ooh, that would be a... That O-line, boy. That'd be a monster O-line. I'm finna have all the O-line jerseys in... And you won't. On the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're getting an Evan Ingram jersey. Uh, no. We'll get there later. I'm I'm done with buying jerseys, and I hope you guys are too. You know, you gotta. We have no consistency with our athletes, so custom jerseys from here on out. But I think the signing, though, also and the tagging of Robinson means that we don't have to go. We could go anyone Yo, at first of our pick. It's gonna be a very, it's gonna be a very interesting pick. Uh, Christian Kirk was the next domino to fall, and like that's when I was like, oh shit, we back on the 2017. Free agent, like winning free agency uh, wave. Um, and it was big money and we got roasted for it. Yeah. We, uh, after this signing, every, this is when the Jags started trending on social media because they reshaped the wide receiver market. But there was some bad reporting early about his contract. So it came out later what the, you know, specifics were of it. And it wasn't as big as people made it seem to be. But still, it was up to like 80-something million. Yeah, it's possible. The possibility, it's possible that he can make $84 million, which is a shit ton. But if he makes it, then he's performing well. Yes. Um, And I'm all for that. Yeah, Um, so the idea of signing a guy like this is that he will perform well, obviously. And people keep saying, oh, he's a wide receiver – He's never been over a thousand yards, but I don't think you can go from the team he was on. Man, he was wide receiver three because he's playing with a a stacked powerhouse offense that the ball could go to anybody. In his first year, he was playing with Josh Rosen, so that's not a parameter for anything. And I had this guy. I'm a little biased. I had this guy in fantasy two straight years, and this man is a deep ball threat. What deep ball threat do we have on the team right now? Not a damn person. We don't throw the ball past. 30 yards. And when we do, it's going right out of bounds. So I like this signing. Obviously, we're going to need one more and maybe a couple in the draft. But Christian Kirk is a great fucking wide receiver signing for the Jags right now. Especially if we don't get Chark back. But I'm hoping we can land another one. I don't know about Juju. I'm not really feeling him. But I'd rather have A-Rob, of course. Nice little homecoming. Uh, So this guy's a little biased, but our friend Kyle, who went to TAMU, uh, he he gave me this about Kirk. He's been following since he, him since he came into the league. Uh, he said, I was hoping Jags were going to get my TAMU uh, baby. Kirk is a stud. Arizona didn't use him like they could have. He can be a star out of the slot. He is very versatile. The Jags need to use him like Debo. Wouldn't be surprised at all if he ends up being a top receiver in the league. Well, he's being paid like it, so... Perhaps that will be the case. We'll well, see. I don't know about using Christian Kirk like Debo. That's what we want LaVisca's role to be. Well, well, this is now the fourth wide receiver on the depth chart. Uh, if I mean, if LaVisca can't do it, then it's going to be Christian. I, I still believe in LaVisca. I know we had a bad year last year. The whole team was dropping balls, but LaVisca's got the talent. I just think he needs one more year to prove it. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but come on, don't, don't give up on LaVisca, y'all. So Christian Kirk, what excites me about him is is, is separation speed, um, separation ability. Are you an analyst? Uh, his his catching, 
his route running, the combination that we haven't had here in a long time. And I know it's silly to say about a third string wide receiver from someone's team, but we just haven't been able to, to find that guy for, for ourselves. Um, and as I, I saw a clip today of Kyler Murray throwing a bomb to Kirk over the middle. Like mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. I tried to go back and have I ever seen one of our receivers just uh, dust the defenders down the middle for a touchdown. And I haven't. And that's a combination of the receivers that we've had with, and the quarterbacks that we've had. We haven't hit on either position in since I've been a fan. Well, we got Allen Robinson, but then couldn't keep him. So, And he wasn't really the over-the-middle beat you um, with his speed guy. Uh, but we'll see. This is definitely a con. And, and the quarterbacks when he was on our team weren't, you know. Yeah, Blake Bortles. Great. This is definitely a signing because it's so big. Screams uh, our receivers were running into each other last year. <laughs> and it also screams we're projecting with Christian Kirk here because he's only 25 and he's coming off, I think, his best season. I'm not sure. He had 900 yeah, yards. It's his best season because Hopkins missed like six, seven games, so he took over with A.J. Green, but still kind of fell behind in production behind A.J. Green, but don't care. Christian Kirk's a good receiver. I like this pickup. Was really hype about it. Wanted him before when the Jags, you know, local media was asking who we wanted in wide receiver free agency. I said, definitely give me Christian Kirk out of all those guys. We got him. So, personally, I'm content. So, his, his contract numbers, which – I don't care like I because Trevor Lawrence is on his rookie deal and I'm sure the the contract creators they will make it so in a few years or before Trevor needs to be resigned they can cut Christian Kirk and not have a huge hit to their to the salary cap I think the teams for the most part if they aren't paying a quarterback stupid amount of money like the Chiefs um, and the Packers I think they're going to be okay with the contracts that they put together. Uh, the Jaguars aren't going to be salary salary cap strapped because of Christian Kirk. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I barely even look at the contracts, and that's one of the reasons why I don't know anything about NFL contracts. Yeah. It's not as a fan; it's never been an issue for the Jaguars. I don't think we've ever had to release anyone because there was such a cap hit. And the cap's going up every year. We have the most in the NFL. Like, why do you care? But we did get roasted by other other NFL fans of other NFL teams, but it's, it is what people, it is. People are really passionate about, about the gap, about NFL teams spending money like it's theirs. Yes, like, exactly. Like, like, why are we paying this guy so much money? Because it's a billion dollar industry. It's not our money either. Pay him. Pay the guy. Who cares? You want to get better? You want to win more than two, three games a season? Pay these guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, so his, his deal looks like this. Signing bonus of $20 million. That's uh, crazy. I know what sign bonus is. You sign your name and you get the money, right? Yeah, I think so. That's crazy. And his salary <laughs> for this year is $1.5 million. So I think, I think this means that against the cap this year is $21.5 million. If I'm wrong, then I'll never understand contracts. So year two, he's making $15.5 million. Year three, $14.5 million. Year four, $15.5 Annual roster bonus, 500K. I guess that means if he's on the roster at the oh end of the God. year. Annual workout bonus, 500K. Boy just got to show up to the gym and gets half a mil. Annual incentives, 3 million. 2024 roster bonus, a million. Max value of 84 million. Now, what it doesn't say in here is if we cut him after year two, how much does that affect the cap? Again, I don't care. I'll worry, but future me will worry about that. Yes, right now it doesn't matter to us. Like, spend the money, we have it. Go wild, go crazy. This is what we asked for when the season ended. We said, we have all this money, we have the draft pick, go do something with it. And here we are, doing it. And Jags, some Jags fans were like, oh no, not, not Christian Kirk. Shut up. He's a stud. But that being said, if we don't land on Allen Robinson or DJ Chark doesn't come back, then the two wide receivers I want in the draft are Jamison Williams and Jahan Dotson because I think Dotson will still be there in the round that we take a receiver and Jamison Williams. A team might get bold and take him even though he's got that injury because he's so good. So if he's not there, then I want Dotson, and that's because of my Penn State fandom, but he's very good. 
Uh, the next acquisition we made was linebacker Foye Ol- Uh This apparently was a very he was he led the league in tackles apparently from the Falcons. Oh, he did. He had 192. That's that's crazy. I didn't know this guy's name, but when I saw that stat, I, I even looked it up for myself. I saw everyone saying that he led the league in tackles on the Falcons. So I go on my Yahoo Sports, go defense, to confirm it. Tackles, see his name at the top, and I'm like, damn. You had to confirm it. You didn't believe him. I didn't. I had to see it for myself. See it to believe it. And I was like, damn, we got the leading tackler in the NFL on our team. I like it. Don't know him, but I like it. So apparently he's super fast too. So pair him next to Miles Jack. I mean, they're paying him three years, forty five million, twenty eight million duet signing. That's crazy. Twenty. So he signs again and he gets twenty eight million. So I guess this that means that a bunch of the contracts are going to be front loaded, which makes sense. If you, I don't know. Fuck it. I'm not going to talk contracts. <laughs> uh, six. We round, got foyer. <laughs> six round pick from Yale. This is this comes from. I like checking on reactions from fans of other teams. Uh, our friend Brian did chime in saying that he's good, uh, and from the Falcons Wire, which is a F- Atlanta Falcons kind of like blog, they tweeted the Falcons have lost their top. This is an article title: The Falcons have lost their top free agent as linebacker Foye Alucon has agreed to terms with the Jaguars. So that's good news. That's good to hear. Yeah. Hey, all I needed to see was that top. Tackle stat, and I'm good to go. Because uh, I know he a dog. Well, we got Andrew Winger. Do you like that? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Uh, Foley Fatukasi. Fatukasi. I didn't know him either. And you, Foley, did you hear of him? No. And Foley is on the Jets. I mean, and Foley ain't even his real first name. Uh, it's a very complicated first name. So, But what I saw was he goes by Foley, which is good. Thank goodness. Uh, he's 27 years old, sixth round pick from UConn. Uh, some things that other people had to say uh, from at New York Jets TF Media, so someone who follows uh, covers the New York Jets. He said, "Quote: Good luck, Foley Fatu. I gotta stop saying it. Good luck, Foley, and congrats on getting paid. Well deserved. You got a good one, Jaguars. And we did. And then Jets fans that repl- replied said, uh, "A warrior who did the dirty work. Well deserved. He will be missed." And then another one said. Jets letting another homegrown leave. Nothing has changed with this team. Mm. So if other, I like when other fans are mad when we sign their guy. Um, that just that is good news. Yeah. So obviously I didn't know this guy either, so I had to go do some searching, see why people said he was a good pickup for us. And there was a graphic that said sixteen plus stuff runs and fifteen plus QB pressures during the season. Um, so he's on this list in the same company with Max Crosby, Aaron Donald, Cam Hayward, Christian Wilkins, and Cam Jordan. So okay. he's stuffing runs okay, and, he's, Foley. and he's pressuring the quarterback. And that's what we need. You pair him on the defensive line with Josh Allen. And then yeah. do we get one in the draft? Don't know. Don't know there, Jim. I mean, put, but, yeah. Like I, I don't, I would rather have the offensive tackle than Aiden Hutchinson at one. Wow. Because. I'm on, the, on offense. I'm on the side of protecting QB so we can go score our fucking points. Like if if Trevor Lawrence has time, he's going to go make that play. But look what the Chargers did this year already in free agency, getting um, Khalil Mack to go opposite Bosa. Well, yeah, the Chargers had problems on defense. Their offense. So was, do we. Their problems was, I know, but look, we couldn't score shit either. Like we... Scored most of our points in the fourth quarter, and that was the first touchdown of the game. The Chargers yeah. are scoring eighty-yard touchdowns with Austin Eckler. They got Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Guyton, Herbert. Their offenses—they may need one more piece on offense, and they're golden. They got to work on that D, and they have done that. We need everything. So if we need everything, then I'm starting on the offense because I'll I'll do a shootout before I score zero and get blown out. This is my opinion. Uh, well. To help that cause, we have tight end Evan Ingram coming our way. Evan Ingram, he's... What do you know about him? I uh, know he's injury prone. He's injured like every... I don't think he's finished an NFL season completely yet in his career, but he is a great tight end. He used to be a fantasy favorite, you know, but he's also had problems dropping the ball, and we don't want that this year. But I think he could be a sneaky good signing if he works out. But I'm just nervous about him because 
Our history with tight ends has not been great ever. Um, I like the Evan Ingram pick. I just hope he can stay healthy enough to play and hope we don't have like a Josh Oliver because when we drafted him, I was hyped for him because I, I get hype about tight ends because I played a little in, in, you in, played one in game. high school <laughs> and I played on D-line. <laughs> I, my, my dream position was tight end in high school and that I got is. moved to D-line. So tight end is my favorite position. And for us to never have had one, it kind of hurts me. But I like Evan Ingram. I hope he can, you know, get past those injury prones that he's got. But we'll see. But it's a he's a good guy. It's only one year deal. So yeah, I like that it's a one year deal. Uh, let's see if he can. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't trick us and play really well this year, and then we sign him to a long term. Then he reverts back to his Giants ways. But we'll see. Um, it's exciting. Got a lot of offensive pieces in day one of free agency. Um, and just remember, though, that Dave Caldwell, when he was a general manager, he won free agency very often. I saw a tweet today saying it's the Jaguars' day. Let him have it. It happens every year. So which um, one of these is your favorite signing? Ooh. Um, I don't, we don't know the numbers for Brandon Sheriff. Not that I – see, I, I said, why do I, yeah, why do I fall into that trap? You don't care. Why do I fall into the trap of caring about the contract numbers? I don't I don't care. Uh, so if I take the contract numbers out, I mean, Christian Kirk, like we need a receiver. Haven't had one ever. Yeah. Ever. ever. If we, but I'm very excited though, to see like what happens with DJ Chark? What happens with Allen Robinson? Did you see Taven Bryan got signed? Yeah. It's the Browns. Browns. Thank goodness. The Browns, they're kind of sabotaging themselves. They, they get rid of OBJ. They got rid of Landry. They only brought in Cooper. Who else is there? No idea. Uh, they're going to be run first for sure. Um, but we do play the AFC West this year, so we need all the help we can get for this next year. <laughs> and hope these guys can work out. Uh, no, someone not. said, how do you guys feel about Dan Arnold coming back? He's solid. He was a solid pickup in that C.J. Henderson trade. Well, having Dan Arnold, see, if, if if we didn't have Dan Arnold and, like, it was just Evan Ingram and O'Shaughnessy and uh, the guy we drafted drafted last year and picked up last year. Dan, it's going to be He's gonna be a, yeah, he's probably not making the team. Yeah. Um I unfollowed him on Instagram. Oh, so he's done. He's done. Uh yeah, it's gonna be so so yeah, if we just if we were betting on Evan Ingram to be the guy, I'd be nervous and I'd be disappointed. But like Evan Ingram and Dan Arnold, like they're they're both still Mama Mama mid. Mid. They're both still mid, but like it's a it's a lot better than having just one. Like I thought we we're going into the season with just Dan Arnold. So this is this is a good compliment. If he gets if he gets hurt, Evan Ingram. Then we got uh, Dan Arnold, uh, who played who played well last season. Uh, the Panthers went like two and two and fourteen or whatever after he got traded to the Jets. Yeah. Not saying that there's a correlation there, but um, yeah, it'd probably be Christian Kirk, my favorite. Yeah, same. Uh, I wanted him so bad, just out of all the guys that were left. But and he won me a lot of money on a on a clutch catch last year. Yeah, I was looking for that clip, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if we I can't remember what game it was. I don't know if we clipped it or if we were just tweeted about it. Um, no, I was looking for the uh, I was looking for the play. Oh, it was a clutch Kyler Murray fourth down. I think it was against, I think it was against the Rams on like Monday night. Mm. I couldn't remember. Had something to say and I forgot it. <sighs> uh, and a- AFC South news: big win for the Texans. The news came out that they declined the Colts from talking to Deshaun Watson. Uh, thank you. Yes, Texans. thank you. Thank you very much for taking. He, a, he's. I want. I want to see him go to the Saints or the Panthers. Lean in Saints. I wanted to see Jameis on like the Steelers, but then they Jameis Winston. Yeah, to play with Mike Tomlin, but they got Mitch. They just got Mitch Trubitz, Trubitsky. Trubitsky. Trubitsky, which I was like, why, Mitch Trubisky. Oh, well, the, the options out there really aren't very. They're not, but like, damn deep. But we'll see how it shakes out. The Jags. <laughs> I saw. I saw a tweet though that said, uh, "This." It was like the Steelers' new. Look at take a look at the Steelers' new offense with like the eye emoji and then the flame emoji. It had all the same players except they just put Mitch Trubisky in there. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm scared. Oh man. Well. Good news is Jags are winning the offseason once again. You're gonna say AFC South. No, 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 no. Not yet. No. You don't think how? What do we have to do? Have a good draft. Oh my God. When are you gonna predict the a dub? 
Do we have to beat the Texans? What, what do you mean a dub? Like a, a win, win the division? Dub? Yeah. <laughs> you do we have to like you have to see us beat the Titans? Boy, and the Texans and the you, Colts. You, I need you, a, I need to see a whole season complete of something that's positive. I'm not going to predict that shit preseason for a, for a while. It's going to be a while. I'm sticking to my guns. No matter what we do in the draft, no matter what we do for the rest of this free agency, it's four to five wins. It's four to five wins. Well, they do say uh, the leader in free agency spending every year increases their win total by an average of three wins. Well, so three plus two, five. Yep. I'm hoping for it. He's right here. He's chilling. No, he's just been eating Chewing random something. shit all the whole podcast. Yeah, some paper. I'll beat his ass when we're done. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. He's too fragile. All right. I'm out. All right, y'all. Thanks Go for Jags. tuning in. Go Jags. Who are you on the watch for? My my uh, notifications are on for Schefter, for Ian. I'm waiting for that Allen Robinson news to drop. For Dilla. For that. For that. Uh, DJ Chark news to drop. Yeah, if if we land Chark and A Rob, no, I'm not going <laughs> to land both. Robinson, yeah, I'll take Robinson. If we land Robinson and can do whatever we want in the draft, pretty much. Yeah, that'd be great. And uh, we'll see you guys at the draft. Oh, um, maybe we'll be back before the draft. Another live video. Mm-hmm.